Hey everyone, in this video we will learn how to remove code using Python Open by Excel module from Excel file. So here is my Excel file and you can see my first name column here having uh, quotes in there. So I wanted to remove this leading and ending quotes from my first name using some programmatic approach. We can do that using Open by Excel. So first thing we need to do is import our Open by Excel module. Then we have to get our data. So we can do that using openpyxl.load workbook method. And here we have to pass a file name. My file name is sample name.xlsx. So I'll just pass it here. My Python file and my Excel file stored in a same repository. So I'm just directly going to pass a name instead of uh, passing a full path. And then we have to finally get the sheet. So my sheet is here is sheet one. So I'll just pass it here and let's run our code just to make sure everything is working and we did not get an error meaning it's working now to iterate over each row i will use for loop here so to do that first we will define two variable first i'll define is data variable true we will use this variable to iterate over all the rows and when we found there is no data we will make each data variable false and break out of loop and another variable we will use is row count set it as a one we will use this row count to increment number of rows now we have this two variable defined so we'll start with our roof we'll say while is data and let's first increase the row count since open by excel start at row one and in our excel sheet the row one is the headers we don't want to change it so i'll just increase the row count right here row count equal to one and then we can start getting our data the way we can get the data is using a cell method name dot cell and in here we have to specify row and column number so row we want to get all of the rows so in a loop i'll get that using a row count variable and we can get the column and in here we just want to process the first column so i'll just pass it as one and dot value and we can add this in a print statement but before we go any further i wanted to break out of my loop so this line will return value of each cell in the column one but when it finds no value it will return none so i'll use that in my condition and before i print it i'll set in a variable so i can use it in the later processing i'll say first name now our first name variable contains the actual value of cell and here i'll say if first name not equal to none I wanted to print first name else I wanted to set if first name is not equal to none I wanted to set is data equal to false so this should give us all the first name let's test our code perfect we are getting all of the values from cell 1 till the last 10 so let's go back to our excel sheet and make sure we are getting all of the values and you can see we are getting all of the value all right in here we can perform instead of printing it we can perform an actual python operation uh, it's a string operation to remove the code and for that we can use a strip method to do that what we can do is at the end of this variable we can use a method called dot strip and we wanted to remove quote later right so what we need to do i'll use a single quote and in there i'll put one double quote so this is the character i wanted to remove from my first name string so this time if i print you won't see quotes that currently you are seeing printed in the console after adding this strip method so now let's run our code one more time and you can see we are getting the value without any quotes so what we need to do now is basically take this entire thing and put that in a set so i'll simply copy this my cell name the same cell which is returning the value and set that cell value equal to our new value without any quotes and after we do that it should hopefully remove the quotes from our first name column and also since we are changing the excel sheet we have to put the save operation in here and we have to put sample file name dot xlsx now let me close my file and you can see here as of now we have the quotes so i'll just close our file go back to our code open console this time it should not print anything but next time when we open our excel file it should show us first name column without any code so let's run on code we did not get any error it looks like everything ran successful so let's go back to our file and you can see here now we have first name without any code so that's how you can remove code using openpyxl thank you for watching